Hi guys, it's Max from High on Android.com where we get on Android every day. So today we're gonna go ahead and install the S8 weather widget and also S8 soft keys on your Galaxy S7, S7 Edge, or any older Galaxy phones running S7 Edge ported ROM. So let's go ahead and do this, baby. Alright guys, first off, I wanted to address an issue if you rooted your T-Mobile Galaxy S7 or S7 as using my guide. I told you to use a uh, kernel auditor and that was actually causing more lag as you use it more often. So uninstall that and install Trickster Mod. Uh, it's the same thing. Um, just go down to General and make sure your CPU uh, governor is set to on demand and set this uh, kernel settings on so it will set on boot. I just want to clear that up for those of you root it and now everything lag is gone my phone is working flawless so I just want to tell you that for those of you who root it using the guide there's a way to fix it I fixed it. Anyway let's get on to the big story of the day uh, SA weather widget how to install it. Alright to do this um, go ahead and download the weather widget from apkquick.com I'll have a link on this. Uh, the download link just skip all of that and go down to uh, where it says S8 Weather APK and also S8 Weather Widget APK. Download both, right? Let me show you how to download it. Um, also, go ahead and skip all of the ads. Wait five seconds down here. All right, click there to download. Download. All right, hit the back button and then download the S8 Weather Widget APK also. So there's two files you have to download, all right? And also this will only work if you have uh, Nougat, all right? So if you don't have Nougat, I suggest you to actually um, not install it, of course. So click here to download. That's two files you have to download. Again, this will work on any phone running Android 7.0. Alright, if you're running older device, you do have to have a custom ROM installed. Alright, so make sure you have custom ROM installed. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and install both APK files. Alright, go ahead and install. And you may have to check unknown sources on. Okay, so make sure you do that. Install this. Alright, install the next one. Install. Then that will install uh, two APK files. All right, very, very important. Um, don't try to use it right away. Go into settings. All right, we're gonna have to clear app and data. Um, that's just the way it's gonna work. Go down to applications. All right, go all the way down. Oops, go all the way down to weather uh, and weather forecast. Go ahead and click on weather. Go to storage. Clear data, delete, click. All right, that should be good. Go back, back, and also for weather forecast, do the same thing. Clear data, delete. All right, and also if you want the soft keys, uh, you will have to have a rooted phone. All right, if you have a rooted S7, S7 Edge, or if you're using a custom ROM, go ahead and download Build Prop Editor on the Play Store and run that and this will allow you to edit the build prop. Go ahead and do a search for QEMU. All right? And you should find a menu called QEMU.HW.MainKeys. Now on my S7 and S7 Edge, um, I did see this, but on some of the older if you're if you're running a custom ROM like uh, on a Note 5 or S6 and you don't see this, do not change it because it will break your phone. But if you do see it, that means you can get the keys. So change this value to zero from one. Hit save. All right. Make sure you allow a super user request. This is for rooted phones only. All right. And we're going to go ahead and reboot the phone. And you will have uh, both S8 widgets and also soft keys if you're rooted. All right, finally reboot it. And let's go ahead and take a look. And boom shakalaka. I've got soft keys now that I can use. Oops, there you go, which is nice. 
Now it does sort of take up room. I don't actually like it that much, but I'm just showing you how to do it because a lot of people ask for it. And you got the S8 weather widget. You should be able to pull it uh, from the, your, your widget. And let me go ahead and um, add a location here. And boom shakalaka. Now with the weather widget, you can resize it any size you want. All right, if you want to make it bigger, um, you can also make it super small. But um, how the S8 has it is sort of like that. This is the real weather widget. And if you don't see it right away, um, you can do a long press, of course, go to widgets. And if you go all the way to the right, you will see the weather widget and you can put that on your home screen and be on your way. And that's how you install S8 weather widgets on your Galaxy S7, S7 Edge or any older Galaxy phones running S7 Edge ported ROM. I'm also soft keys. Now let me go ahead and show you how to uninstall it. I know a lot of you are going to ask me. Um, so to get rid of the soft keys, you don't like it, go back to build prop, find the value, type Q, E, oh, there you go, find the main keys, set this back to 1, all right, and that will set that, you'll just have to reboot. To get rid of the weather widget, go into settings, applications, go down to weather widget, Go click on weather, hit the menu key, install updates, uninstall updates, hit OK, hit the back but button, go to weather forecast and do the same thing, uninstall updates, OK, and go ahead and reboot. And rebooted, you can see my soft keys are gone, back to the S7 Edge weather widget. Alright, I've also got it working on my S6 Edge running a Nemesis ROM. I'll have a review of this also. Um, I couldn't get the soft keys, like I said. If you don't see the menus, don't try to add the value because it will brick your phone. I tried on my Note 5 and I had to do a factory reset. The weather widget you can do on pretty much all the older Galaxy phones if you have a custom ROM with Nougat. All right. As for the soft keys, um, you can definitely do it on the S7 or S7 Edge and S7 Edge ported ROM. If you have that menu option, you'll be able to also do it. Hey guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I should have more stuff coming. I'm going to look into some icons next. If you have any ideas, on other S8 stuff I missed out on, do let me know. And as always, stay on Android. Click here to subscribe.